our son. And now to formally start this webinar, maybe call on our energetic, our awesome, one and only, the president and the queen of International Training Center and Hospitality Institute, not other than Miss Marquez, Joanne G. Kevin, to deliver this her welcome remarks. Everyone, please give her a virtual a majesty for round of applause. Um, thank you everybody for being here today, grade 11 and grade 12. It's nice to see you again virtually, but uh, we would like to thank everybody for staying uh, with still with Ichi and I'm very happy. So why do you think this webinar is relevant? What is our topic today? Front office services, moving forward and beyond. So why do you think this is relevant? Because you guys, the soon soon to be hoteliers or um, tourism professor professionals, are considered frontliners. Binyo na isip yon. You guys are frontliners. All this pandemic, yung mga hotels natin, our front office receptionist, our concierge boy, our luggage boy, our bellman. Lahat sila nag-work because yung mga hotels, it has been converted to quarantine facilities. Our government even asked for the help of the hotel owners to open their facilities to accommodate um, those people who needs to quarantine or to isolate. So you see, um, you should look forward that in every upper, in every um Weakness, right. there's an opportunity. So, kung may crisis, there's still an opportunity. Sabi nga, di ba, dun sa nag-viral, dun sa America's Got Talent, it is still 2%. 2% is 2%. So, hindi ka dapat mawalan ng pag-asa. You know? And uh, it's related to your profession later on if you graduate. So, even if there's pandemic, frontliners, front office staff are still relevant. Because how can the hotel operate? Um, so, moving on, like I said, this quarantine, there's still future ahead of us. There's a threat on the technology. Yes, because in some properties or in some countries, some of the front office um, staffs are robots. But this should not be a threat. We see it as a threat because, again, um, personal touch or human interaction is still much important. Because kung nagkaroon ng problem, yung robot, limited lang yung programming niya, they will not be able to troubleshoot anything. So that's when you guys will come in. Okay, you will have to, ha you need to have the 21st century skills. Yung critical thinking, being analytic, decision making. So these are the things that you need to acquire. Kasi these are the skills na wala yung mga robots na yan. Okay, they can be programmed, they can be precise. Exact yung um, instructions na pwede nilang ibigay. But in times of decision making or situations that requires an action, it's only human beings who can do that. And for a guest who's feeling lonely or too happy, mahirap sa isang robot ang mag-react. Kasi hindi naman siya ganun, he's not human. We should all be together and um, related pa rin dun sa uh, topic natin uh, about front office services, moving forward and beyond. Who's watching K-Dramas here? Have you seen the K-Drama Hotel de Luna? Uh, but if you'd notice, they have to make sure that before they check out in the hotel, the hotel have to make sure that satisfied yung guest kasi kung hindi siya natuwa, dun sa kanilang uh, stay, pwede silang hindi mag-move on sa kabilang buhay. So, ganun din dito sa topic natin today. You know, you have to learn how to move forward. Kasi yung mga guests nila dun sa Hotel de Luna, ang dami nilang baggage sa buhay. Marami silang regrets. Ang dami nilang naging kasalanan, naging unhappy sila. So, they have to let go of that baggage. So, yun yung moving forward. And what is beyond? So, you have to take uh, you have to learn how to accept and to correct your mistakes. So before uh, they go to the 
next life, they get to do everything in Hotel de Luna. So you see, even in um, afterlife, meron pa rin ginagang panan ang mga frontliners. So that's my message for you today. I want you to open your minds and your hearts in listening to our discussion today. We have a very um, a competent and uh, respected guest speaker okay so again thank you very much and i hope you enjoy our first webinar again thank you so much all right so thank you so much Matt and Jane, for that warm and encouraging welcome message to you all thank you so much man okay so ngayon po ang ating mas lalong patagalit pa uh, kanina po nakastandby ang ating resource speaker so with that, I'm going to use our resource speaker this afternoon. We may call it our cool and handsome, cool administrator, not other than Sir Ulysses B. Campbell. Give him a round of applause, everyone. Okay, so go ahead, sir. Thank you very much, Ms. Ja, Mom Ja. I'm MJ. Thank you for the delightful opening remarks. It's my uh, for honor and of course be able to introduce our again very competent and eloquent short speaker for today. I've worked with her personally and of course virtually the past few months. So I'll, I prepared actually a four page introduction, but no, half page <laughs> number. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'll try to give you a brief history of what she's been doing in the hospitality and tourism industry so started working in a rent, uh, car rental agency with her family and on that aspect she was able to meet a hotel manager and that manager was so impressed with her he offered her a job as front office agent okay in mandarin oriental manila that's how she started in her work in the hotel for almost uh, five years then she continued working in the agency, but she felt that being in the industry, in the hotel industry, is he, he really her passion. So she went back and worked at Mandarin Hotel for a few years. Chose to work at Shangri La Manila as in a guest service position. Then she moved to Richmond Hotel as a duty manager. Later on, she worked in. She went to Boracay and worked for Fairways and Blue Waters as Films Manager for another few years. And also worked as Front Office Manager at Blue Waters Discovery. at Fairway Shores, Boracay. After that, she now continues now as a... She stopped working in a hotel, but now continue now or concentrated now working as a trainer. Of course, still, still in the hotel industries. So she has passed her trainer's methodology with TESDA and now certified trainer and assessor for North front office in using the M ASEAN MRAs in partnership with DOT, TIFB, and of course TESDA. Currently, uh, we're privileged and happy that she works with us. She just, just recently finished working with us uh, for our JDB program or Joint Delivery Voucher program. And right now, we're happy that we have here with us. Just give us a time to work with us for our work immersion webinar series. So again, welcome our esteemed resource speaker, Amabeth Kerante. Let's give her again another warm round of applause, guys.
it's it's really going to be a delight for me uh, to share current updates and trends in this industry. And I hope that you students um, will, um, you know, will take this to heart and mind. And uh, I also hope that you will find this interesting and useful, not only uh, to your career, but also to your personal lives. Okay. Before we do that, we would like to express our appreciation to our dear resource speaker for today. We really had a wonderful time listening and learning. We are so happy to have you here join, joining us this afternoon. So for our awarding of a Certificate of Appreciation, I would like to call Mr. Ako ba magbabasa? I would like to call myself to read a citation. <laughs> <laughs> so allow me to read the citation. This Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to our dearest Maria Elizabeth G. Cherante in grateful recognition for generously sharing her time, knowledge, and expertise as a resource speaker during the Work Immersion Webinar Series of the Senior High School Students entitled Front Office Services Moving Forward and Beyond, held on June 16, 2016 via Google Meet, given the 16th day of June 2021 at International Training Center, and Hospitality Institute, Mandaluyong City, Philippines, signed by yours truly. Thank you so much, Ms. Thank Mabe. you. The Thank physical you. one, we will send it to your house or next time when you visit here. But really from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for all those insights and wonderful stories and learnings that you have shared with us this afternoon. This is our first time and we'll never forget it. So a round of applause to our dear resource speaker. Thank you. I, I'm really glad I was able to contribute this, uh, yeah, this, uh, and impart to you and share whatever yes. I still remember. <laughs> yes, Ms. Yeah. Mabe, thank you. I mean, for, for an industry practitioner, learning everything from you is really, you know, um, a very humbling and a very ano, enriching para sa mga students. So thank you so much again. And okay, for the closing remarks, we would like to call Sir Ulysses Campos, our school administrator. So she started with the guest cycle, which you all know, naman, from pre arrival to arrival, province in departure. So, alam yun guys. And for me, nagtumatak sa akin is yung more on the suitable uh, front office staff. So, if I would, if she is here right now, so my bet, I would say yung word na niya sinabi, yung passion. You can see from her, no, guys, yung kanyang passion when siya yung salita, nag, nag uh, bibigay ng kanyang life stories, di ba? Like, uh, regarding. So, dapat all of you must have the passion to be in this industry. Not enough na magaling mag-English, not enough na, na you can do all, but definitely kailangan may passion. Kasi pag nabagod na kayo, 8 hours na katayo, or 9 hours, maraming complaints, then definitely passion will really be a big effort.